What is up everybody and welcome back to another sneaker review. Today we are going to be looking at the beautiful Cherry Jordan 11 Highs. So if you watched my top 10 sneaker list of 2022, you know that this shoe was in my top 10 at number eight. Part of that could be because I was actually able to get them. I got early access to these on Sneakers app. So I was very fortunate to receive that. That makes my second ever Jordan Cop on Sneakers app. My first being the Jordan 1 High Taxis, which is another shoe that was on my top 10 list. Um, but with that said, let's get into the shoe. So starting from the top, we'll move from the top down to the bottom of the shoe. So first we have this red sock liner, which is made kind of out of almost like a fleece material. And then of course on the back of it, you have the number 23 stretched out in white lettering. Moving from the liner to the heel, we have a white leather that wraps from each side um, with white stitching. And then of course you have the Jumpman logo stitched in red on the outer left section of the heel. Moving forward to the upper is kind of like a padded material, kind of sectioned out in between these lace loop straps and is texturized in kind of a bunch of little knots, giving it kind of like a lizard skin or snake skin type vibe. And that is on the entire upper from the outside all the way to the inside, including the tongue. And then we have these white laces, which are not just the squared off laces like most shoes, but they are the thick ropey type laces, which I personally really like. And then moving on to my personal favorite part, the part that brings this shoe all together is the red patent leather. This patent leather absolutely pops. It looks great in pictures, but when you're holding it in your hand and you see like the reflection coming off it, and it kind of reminds me of when you see those car videos of, you know, like the, the super clean red Ferraris pulling out of the garages and they have those huge bar LED lights shining down on them and they just look like, they just look perfect, like almost not real kind of perfect. That's the kind of vibe this patent leather is kind of giving me. Now I'm not sure what the patent leather would feel like um, if you were to wear the shoe over a long period of time. Uh, I have worn them but not, I've just, just I just kind of put them on to kind of see how they felt. I thought they were super comfortable. Uh, I have not, as you can tell, there's no kind of any signs of these being worn outside or, or really at all. I just kind of tried them on, but I wanted them to look clean and fresh for the video. So I'm not sure. Some people have said, I know with the patent leather Jordan 1s that those shoes are pretty uncomfortable. They just feel really stiff, um, especially if you wear them for long periods of time, which most people don't generally like to wear Jordans or Jordan 1s, especially over a long period of time. Jordan 11s are considered to be one of the more comfortable models of the Jordan line. So with that said, I imagine these, are, these would still be um, definitely more comfortable than a Jordan 1 or you know a Jordan 4, uh, but I'm not sure if the shoe would feel you know, extra stiff over time because of the patent leather or just early on because maybe after after breaking it in after a while, it would, it would, I mean, you might not even notice it was there. But yeah, uh, when it comes to the feel on foot, um, I, I'm not 100% sure, like I said, uh, when I put them on, they were comfortable. I liked how they felt. These are my first pair of Jordan 11s. So that being said, I'm not sure really how any Jordan 11s feel over a long period of time. But my personal opinion, if you are planning on you know, going to a theme park or whatever for all day, this probably would not be the shoe you want to wear or any Jordan at that just because, you know, you want a shoe that's going to, you know, feel good on your foot for the whole day, not just for the first hour or two because I'm sure that these would be comfortable for about that long, but with the patent leather especially, I can imagine that they would feel a little extra stiff, um, maybe take away a little... Uh, range of motion in your foot. If you were coming looking for, you know, me to say that these are the perfect shoe to wear to a theme park, uh, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but that probably is not the best idea 
if that's what you were planning on using these shoes for, which I'm pretty sure none of you or anyone at that is planning on getting these for that purpose. But anyway, moving from the patent leather overlays, the midsole is an all white foam midsole, which is somewhat accented by the outsole kind of wrapping up onto it, which is, you know, that icy blue translucent outsole that you see on, on lots of Jordan 11s. Um, lots of Jordans in general, actually. Um, and then moving to the outsole, like I said, it is that icy blue kind of tra semi-translucent outsole with these two rubber sections here. Under the outsole, you have the white Jordan logo and the red and black polka dot pattern that also comes out kind of onto the midsole on the inside and comes out of the outsole. And that will round off the review for the the beautiful cherry 11 jordans if you enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like button and if you want to see more videos like this including more sneaker reviews um tips info sneaker news updates things like that uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel and we will see you in the next video peace out